Today is our official kickoff to October Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and our charity partner, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, is entering its 25th year awarding grants to researchers around the world. And Myra Bibliwitt, the president of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, or BCRF, is joining us tonight. So Thank lovely you. to see you. Thank you. Thank you for being here in your pink. In my pink, we chose well <laughs> in right. our hue. And what brings you to Boston this well, month? I flew in on breast cancer one yesterday. Mm -hmm. Delta Airlines has been our partner since 2004 and every year they inaugurate Breast Cancer Awareness Month mm -hmm. by taking the plane that is dedicated to BCRF. It has a ribbon around its wing, our logo on the nose, and they take it out of service and they fill it with employees who are survivors from across the Delta workforce, mm -hmm. from ticket agents to gate agents to flight attendants to pilots. Yeah. We were there filming that yep. and, and it must mean so much to it's all those survivors. wonderful. We started in Atlanta with great festivity. Mm -hmm. We were greeted at Logan with music and more balloons. We had a wonderful dinner last night and it kicks off the month and Delta over the years since 2004 has raised almost 15 million dollars for BCRF right. and they dedicate the month. That's so wonderful. it brought me to my hometown. And here at WBZ we are proud to be the charity partner of BCRF and yes you mentioned you grew up in Brockton. I grew up in Brockton. I don't think people realize no. that the leader of this organization that people love so much is a local girl. A local girl. <laughs> I went to Thayer Academy. Mm -hmm. I went to Tufts. I have a master's from Brandeis. So Amazing. my roots are here. You're here. And one of the things that I think is stupendous about the research grant money that you deliver is that if money is donated from people in the Boston area, it's given to Boston Stays researchers. Right here. Talk about that a little bit. That we always say at every event we do, and we do two events a year, we do a luncheon, there's one coming up on November 2nd, and we do a gala in the spring, we say the money that's raised in Boston stays in Boston, and we augment it with, a, with funds that we raise around the country and around the world, mm -hmm. but everything raised here supports great research here. And the numbers at this point are really staggering. How many countries, how much money have you given away? This year we are awarding a record 63 million in grants wow. uh, to researchers, 300 researchers across 14 countries and we've raised cumulatively close to about 788 million dollars and, and so many women who are breast cancer survivors might not realize that their treatment came directly because of the research funded by That's your donors right. you know what stands between today and cure pure and simple is funding mm. BCRF is the greatest engine. We are today the largest global funder of breast cancer research worldwide. And research is the reason that the face of breast cancer has changed for women. Research is the reason that there's been a 40% decline in breast cancer deaths since BCRF was founded. That's a huge number. It is. Research is the reason that what started out as diagnosis and treatment now is a continuum that goes from prevention to diagnosis and treatment to survivorship. Right. Research is the reason there are 3.5 million survivors. And people don't today. always see it, right? That's They're not going right. to see the research. It's not obvious in front of you. I have a sister who's a breast cancer survivor. She had it very young. And I think so many people who have survivors in their family are so grateful that what BCRF really does is you're able to cut through kind of the red tape that That's the right. government grants require, right? That's right. Explain how well, you give out the there's money. a there's a dearth of federal funding to begin with, and what it means is that the federal dollars are given to, I don't want to say plain vanilla, but given to projects where the answers are really in front of you. We fund the high-risk, high-reward research. We fund the speculative, seminal new ideas, which if they hit the mark, can cut decades off getting benefit to patients. And we all know so many brilliant physicians and researchers here in the Boston area are hard at work every day. And every this is day. the kind of funding that they always cry out for. That's right. right? Funding that allows them to be creative. Right. We always say we fund people, not projects. Mm -hmm. We find, fund bright ideas and bright people. And if a researcher calls us and says, you know, the, the project that you funded, it's not bearing fruit. But if I take a left turn, yeah. I think I find an answer. We say take it. And they have the that leeway to do that with your funds. 
out right. that they might not with government Correct. money. Correct. And you've embraced hot pink and the, the pink ribbon that everybody knows so right. well. Right. Um, talk a little bit about the luncheon that's coming up in Boston. Well, every year, as I say, we do a luncheon. And what we do is we showcase the great research here. So this year, Eric Weiner from Dana-Farber will be interviewing a, a conversation with Priscilla Brastianos from Mass General mm -hmm. uh, and Ann Partridge from the Dana-Farber. Priscilla's working on metastatic disease and, and um, Anne on the disease in young women. We will have all of our Boston grantees there because every single institution in this town is science rich and we're honored to put our dollars behind this year eight million dollars in grants. Yeah well it sounds like it's you know a fun the, the hot pink party or the hot pink luncheon yeah. but a lot of serious uh, research is done and presented there That's so right. our best of luck for Thank that you. and we're going to be seeing the Zakem Bridge lit hot pink November, on November 1. One and two yep. to uh, to wrap up the month. So yeah. Myra Biblowit, president of BCRF, thank you so much for being here. I'm we appreciate honored it. to be here. And we should say that all the information about BCRF, the Hot Pink Boston Luncheon coming up, or any of the events throughout the year, uh, the links are going to be on CBSBoston.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. And let's go